good evening one and all i am dr jayaram consultant family physician so today we are going to discuss a very important topic that is uh, vertigo and uh, balance disorders so this is the very important topic which is commonly encountered in the clinical practice so there are a lot of uh, questions about this uh, doctor my complaint is i feel dizzy dizzy and uh, doctor i feel light head the doctor uh, i feel like uh, there is a room is spinning so i i couldn't able to control it and uh, doctor i feel like i'm doomed so these are all the different uh, symptoms with uh, which the patients which we have we will be encountering so for this first we have to understand certain basic uh, uh, physiology of how uh, the giddiness the happens so for that we have to understand so our brain has a lot of connections as you all know so for that important thing is three important things which we have to understand for the giddiness or any other problem with uh, uh, our body which causing the giddiness the three important things are one is the eye the second is we have a uh, vestibular system that is inside the ear so we call it as vestibular system that maintains the balance so how it maintains the balance when we turn our head towards left or right or if we go move forward or backward if we go up and down this is what the thing which maintains the balance so that is the main important thing of vestibular system and the third important thing is peripheral nerves which carries the sensation suppose if i am uh, closing my eyes but still my hand is over here i can recognize the object it is all because of our peripheral nerves peripheral nerves which carries the sensation and to the brain so this is what the uh, three important things which are very important to know about before uh, talking on dizziness so how the dizziness happens and uh, what is the uh, reason behind it so first before that uh, we should understand uh, whenever there is a patient comes and says doctor i feel there is a uh, room uh, spinning and i do not know why it is i feel that this is for the past two days it comes and on and off but still i do not know what is the reason behind i feel very worried about it and uh, when i am getting up uh, i feel this dizziness so this is the commonest uh, thing which we encountered in uh, day to day practice so what is the reason is so the as i already said that vestibular system which maintains the balance so whenever there is a something called semi circular canals the, which surrounding the vestibular system which is in the inner ear so that maintains the balance the part so suppose if there is a changes in the uh, levels in the fluid it maintains there is a fluid levels in the uh, in a ear which maintains the uh, thing so suppose if it is in the age so if it is there there is a lot of uh, uh, otolith or calcium deposition those things which travel in this and there will be mismatch so that there will be a uh, patient will feel dizzy about it so that is the commonest thing which we encounter so that is what we call it as bppv that is benign paroxysmal vertigo so that is benign positional paroxysmal vertigo that is what we call it as bppv so this is the commonest thing which we encounter so in the clinical practice apart from that what we have to understand is that i have already discussed about three important things the eye the stimulus and the nerves suppose the brain will receive all the connections with all the three systems that is the three important sensory organs so it will receive all the information and it will try to match it and then it will try to on uh, uh, try to see whether it is the true sensory input which is received and then it processes it then it will 
then may it will uh, uh, output the it will produce the output so this is how the brain functions so that is amazing thing uh, what uh, god has given to us so so this is how we will interpret so whenever there is a mismatch happening in any one of the systems like the nerves or in the eye or in the vestibular canal automatically the brain will have the output like there is something wrong and it will deliver the output so this is what the basic thing is all about so how you are going to approach a patient with the dizziness so this is the important uh, discussion which we are now we are going to talk on today's topic so how are you going to know about it so this is most important thing so the thing was if you have a patient with uh, which comes with the dizziness first we have to understand there are certain common questions we have to ask him so what are the common questions we have to know is first important thing is history as well as examination so these are the two important things as a doctor we will be seeing it so further making sure where the problem lies in suppose if there is a problem it is in the which system and which uh, uh, we are uh, which compartment uh, is involved we will be assessing through this history as well as the examination and we will be pinpointing where the disease is localized that uh, should be the first important step as a clinician we, we will be diagnosing so first important thing what are the questions which we will be asking to pinpoint how it is first important thing is is it a vertigo or not yeah the vertigo how the patient feels is the room is spinning kind of sensation that is what we call it as vertigo and uh, some patients will say uh, doctor i feel uh whenever whenever i am walking suddenly i start to feel that i am getting swayed to one side so that is a one way of uh, saying that that could be uh, because of uh, uh, it could be uh, uh, anywhere the problem could be in uh, out of these three things it could be there so we have to think some Uh, some this is because of what we call as disequilibrium so whenever the patient says that dizziness to disequilibrium it is called as a spectrum so dizziness in the initial phase uh, the patient will feel slightly dizzy and uh, something like uh, he feels like that but uh, he doesn't have much of symptoms but uh, uh, sometimes the patient says whenever i walk i feel getting swayed that is called complete disequilibrium so that is what uh, the spectrum is all about so this is in the initial it could be in the later stages this could be happen as well and the third important thing is light headedness uh, doctor uh, when i feel whenever i am getting up from the bed or whenever i am doing work uh i feel light headed uh, that uh, this is uh, some kind of uh, very strange thing that uh, that most common causes whenever you have the bp is lower so the you feel the sensation of light headed or uh, this is a ominous thing which i am talking about there are others, other causes as well and the fourth important thing which we have to understand is uh, Uh, we have to know about the uh, presyncopal symptoms presyncopal what we call as presyncopal the patient will have a sweating patient will have kind of dizziness and uh, so the patient will have a, uh, suppose he is doing some work or activity and he feels the uh, there's a slight uh, uh, palpitation sweating and all those things happen and he feel like that i uh, that uh, the black hole will start to happen this is called this is how the pacing hope will be there so these are all the uh, thing the how the patient will present to us so this is the how the thing and the approach towards is the certain common questions we should be remember so in order to localize what are the questions is is it a vertigo or not first important question is to the history will be asking and second important thing is whether it is uh, if it is a vertigo whether it is a episodic or it is uh it has been persistent so if it is an episodic or it is throughout so this is the second important thing and the third is 
so uh, from this the thing and uh, before all this you have to know whether it is uh, acute or chronic those things as well you have to ask about and uh, after asking episodic as well as uh, persistent uh, vertigo then you have to ask about the uh, things uh, which are uh, we call it as uh, like uh, if for the vertigo these are all the common questions and then you have to ask three important things like time and uh, what time and uh, what are the triggers you have to ask about time triggers and uh, aggravating and relieving factors these three are most important things which you have to ask in the case of a vertigo so once you have uh, asked about all these things you can very well easily 80 percent of the times you can come to the diagnosis through only history alone and with the help of you investigations before going on investigations uh, by doing an examination itself you can make it up to 60 to 80 percent of your diagnosis there will be certain difficult cases as well that needs little uh, amount of uh, uh, more uh, aims as well as clues to uh, think about it there are certain diseases uh, what we are worried of is immediate onset suddenly the patient has felt dizzy and sometimes the patient uh, uh, has uh, this kind of feeling and it has been started very abruptly and in those cases what we have to think is what is called stroke so stroke is also we have to think in the differential diagnosis that is more important because we need to rule out stroke because in which we can give thrombolysis as well as we can uh, able to save the patient if he comes in within the uh, speculated time so within that time if he comes within three hours we can save the patient's life uh, without uh, developing a body paralysis that is important of stroke as well and other things like light headed he feels and, uh, and other things like that so you need to ask about the duration and what time we need to push in the patient suppose I am giving a scenario suppose the patient is having some uh, he didn't have the he skipped the lunch and the afternoon and he feel uh, dizzy at in the evening time so that means probably the patient has felt of hypoglycemia could be the cause, could be the cause for the dizziness. And sometimes the patient is standing for a long time and he feels sweating and uh, uh, he is uh, having a uh, blackout state. That This is more likely of orthostatic, uh, that is we call it as uh, presyncopal kind of thing which uh, he has and uh, sometimes the patient can have uh, slight dizziness and it uh, may turn into seizures as well, seizures and fits as well. So these are all important things which are dilemmas which we will be asking the patients. So make sure you should be clear always, know about first thing is make sure your proper history should be there and proper physical examination will make sure or the diagnosis and the last important thing which I want to say is whenever you have a problem in the peripheral nerves they um, the carrying to the spinal cord and spinal cord to the thalamus and thalamus to the uh, uh, from the brain stem thalamus and to the opposite side of the brain so this is how the nerve travels so, so if there is a problem anywhere over this region and this can also can cause a dizziness so these are all the important things which we need to understand about the dizziness part and uh, the stroke is more important thing which you have always keep in mind we should not miss that so that is why the investigations also will be helpful and uh, there will be other tests which we can able to do that and uh, there are many treatments available for the common things to the most serious things as well first once you have diagnosed about it the treatment would be based on that thing so, so this is most important topic and uh, I hope uh, you have a uh, eagle eye as well as I have explained most common things today and uh, hope you have liked this video thank you so much